other purposes, whether it's the schools, whether it's the township, whatever it may be. So if you average it out, it's about eight million a year. Eight million a year, if we were to go back to our residents and ask for that, it's 13.3 mills. And in today's economy, many houses are well over $200,000. There's homes in Dillonville right now that are selling above $200,000. If we were to replace that revenue with levies, you're looking at $933 per year for the homeowner of a $200,000 home. So just some comments on TIF, and, and, and certainly we can debate a lot of this all day, but it's an investment in current and future land uses. Currently, you provide for higher quality development by leveling the economics of a site, because a builder is not going to build something if they can't make a reasonable economic return on it. For the future, it provides the infrastructure base necessary to support higher quality developments. In the case in point, I challenge anybody to go to another mall in the tri-state during the holidays and let me know how it goes. And then I want you to come to Kenwood. Yeah, it's going to be slow. It's the holidays. But you move and traffic moves. And that's just a function of what the TIF has enabled us to do because the Kenwood Town Center was here before any of this started. There have been generations before us that started this economic development trend. And, and through the years, the township has embraced that and done the best it can to keep everything rolling. You know, it provides additional revenue opportunities from development. So you get a higher quality development, a, a more needed development. In our case, we have the joint economic development zones. They bring in a higher caliber of employee, which in turn brings a higher caliber of revenue. And as you've seen over the years, I, you know, this year, I don't have the exact figures, as I mentioned earlier, but we are tracking to increase again. So we have gone up every single year that JEDS has been around. And that's because Kenwood is a very desirable place. In 2014, when the JEDS started, it replaced over 80% of the lost 2012 revenue from the estate tax. The estate tax was anywhere from 2 to $8 million a year. And we have effect effectively replaced that. All that said without going back for a levy. So, Board of Trustees, you need to applaud yourselves that, that you've gone this far. You are the only township that has not asked for a levy in over 13 years now, 2006, 13 years. The next nearest community that, that hasn't asked for a levy was Anderson Township in 2017. So, it, it's, it's definitely something that paints a, a much different picture. Things to remember about TIF, they are restricted funds that can only be used for specific purposes. And think about this, past TIF projects have allowed for ongoing infrastructure improvements, lessening the burden on current taxpayers. Current TIF projects will allow for future infrastructure improvements, lessening the burden on future taxpayers. Where we are today is, is because of what boards before you have done. They have put you in a position where you're able to do all this. The other thing that it does that is oftentimes overlooked, it provides ongoing relief to the general fund and allows the general fund to spend money on things that TIF can't. So for example, Tracy is able to spend $750,000 a year on local neighborhood streets because we're not required to put it into other projects. And that's very important. And at the end of the day, it lowers the tax burden on all residents by allowing for efficient use of that general fund. Um, we move on to the school districts. Indian Hill has been the biggest recipient of them, without a doubt. And Indian Hill, their level of taxation is at the state floor, meaning they can't go any lower. Now, obviously, Indian Hill has its issues with the inside versus outside millage and the lawsuit. But the point being is the Kenwood Business District has propped up Indian Hill schools beyond belief. And I think there's a bunch of you in this room that are residents of Indian Hill school districts, and you have the lowest tax rate in the county, and that's, it's, it's incredible. Um, you can put a property behind us that's worth $500,000, and one over in other school districts that's worth $300,000, and that one will pay more taxes. So it's definitely a testament to what it's done. Every township, it, it uses TIF with the exception of these three, which are all rural townships. I would imagine at some point, when development comes their way, the county commission uh, gets their way and they put sewers out there, you're looking at those being the next boom areas. So um, TIF's been a very important part of Sycamore Township. Uh, and this, I'll tell you, this was eye-opening for me. Tom, the, 
or two weeks ago, whenever it was, you asked me to look into this. Dave and I started pouring through things and looking at things, and um, I don't think you realize all that TIF does, and, and you're right. We have to do a better job of explaining TIF. So uh, going forward, I think we're going to work on some new initiatives to uh, show what TIF does. Great, great presentation. Thank you. Um, bills and receipts, Mr. Porter. Yes, we have receipts of one million one hundred forty-two thousand four hundred twenty-one dollars and fifty-four cents. Disbursements of one hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred one dollars and seventy-seven cents. A complete listing of all the receipts and disbursements is available in the office for your review. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second motion. Second. Second. All second. in favor? Uh, Mr. Porter. Uh, Mrs. LaBarber. Aye. Mr. Connor. Aye. Mr. Weaver. Aye. Uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Now. So, Tom, I know you have questions, so now you can ask. Yeah, the state says there are 20